And as we just showed you, parts of the Wabash Valley are still recovering from a recent tornado outbreak. But what exactly causes a tornado to form? Storm Team 10's Brady Harp explain, explains the ingredients of Mother Nature's strongest types of weather. It's already been an active weather season across the Wabash Valley, and tornadoes are one of the most dangerous kinds of severe weather. But how exactly do they form? Well, first, you need surface winds. This is the first ingredient of a tornado. And of course, you need stronger winds higher up in the air. Now, what this is going to do is create a rotating column of air. Now, this can happen on a windy day, but when you add a thunderstorm to the equation, when this is happening, a thunderstorm moves into this area, uh, thunderstorms like to move air up. And when they do that, that's going to just uh, drive this rotating column of air uh, up into the sky and create a, a spinning region of the thunderstorm. And once that happens, you're actually going to see a wall cloud form. Now, that's a typical telltale sign that a storm may produce a tornado is when you see a cloud hanging down. That's what we call a wall cloud and it's rotating. And what that's going to do then is possibly produce a tornado a rotating column of air uh, continues to build downward and if it doesn't hit the ground that's actually not a tornado yet it's a funnel cloud many of you actually know this but if it does it is a tornado and again these are very dangerous storms and if you have any other weather related questions be sure to ask the storm team we check uh, email facebook twitter or visit wthitv.com and ask the storm team we'd be happy to explain your weather related question on news 10.